हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अ क्विक सिंपल एमसीक्यू डिस्कशन व्हेन आई पोस्टेड दिस एमसीक्यू आई थॉट इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल एमसीक्यू एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स विल गिव करेक्ट आंसर बट दैट वाज नॉट द केस एंड देयरफॉर इट्स वर्थ वाइल डिस्कसिंग दिस एमसीक्यू यू नो वी हैव स्टार्टेड एमसीक्यू डिस्कशंस ऑन आवर YouTube चैनल सो बिफोर वी प्रोसीड व्हाई नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल ऑलराइट सो हियर वी गो द एमसीक्यू वाज ऑन सीवीएस एंड इट रिक्वायर्स अ सिंपल कांसेप्चुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग Select the correct statement regarding the ventricular systolic ejection, and the options are: right ventricular ejection starts first and ends first, or is it the left ventricular ejection that starts first and ends first, or right ventricular ejection starts first but left ventricular ejection ends first, or ejection of both ventricles. would start first uh, would start uh, simultaneously and would also end together uh what say you want to answer this okay uh the answer is c right ventricular ejection starts first but left ventricular ejection ends first now if you are surprised on the answer let's see the concept now first of all uh i am going to discuss it in three steps first the electrical excitation how it spreads through the heart through the ventricles particularly then as a result of that the ventricular systole starts the mechanical event the contraction the systole starts and uh, once the systole starts then the ejection will happen so let's see these three steps and what happens really uh, during these three steps uh, first thing is about the left ventricular excitation as you know that uh, av node uh, is the gateway through which uh, impulse will enter the ventricles now if you look at the branches of the bundle of his the bundle gives off the left branch and then the bundle itself continues downward as the right branch and therefore what happens is impulse enters the left branch first and then through the interventricular septum it goes to the right and then it starts running downward uh, towards the apex in uh, both ventricles so technically speaking left ventricular excitation starts first ahead of the right ventricular excitation because of this fact that the impulse depolarization first enters the left branch then through the septum it goes to the right and uh, that means left ventricular excitation begins just ahead of the right ventricular excitation technically speaking uh, this is the sequence of excitation now that was about the spread of excitation as a result of that the systole will start now here you should understand that uh, the ventricular musculature is actually a syncytium both ventricles make up one syncytium and therefore they all uh, i mean all the fibers they all contract together and therefore uh, when the systolic contraction starts it starts in both ventricles together but then initially there is isovolumic contraction followed by the ejection now here it needs some understanding of the valvular function you know the valves open or close because of the pressure gradients between the ventricles and the vessels all right now look at this right ventricle pumps the blood into the pulmonary artery and that is possible when the pulmonary valve opens and left ventricular uh, left ventricle ejects the blood into the aorta that is when aortic valve opens that is when the systolic ejection will happen uh, by the ventricles now what happens here is the valve leaflets they move 
and that is how the valve opens or closes. So far as the pulmonary valve is concerned, beyond the pulmonary valve, there is pulmonary artery, which is a low pressure vessel, relatively low pressure vessel, just about 25 mm of Hg. Whereas beyond the aortic valve, there is aorta, which is a high pressure vessel, 125 mm of Hg. And therefore, what happens is that the pulmonary valve can open freely and easily because you can see here the movement of those valve leaflets like this as they open. And since beyond the valve leaflets, uh, the pressure in the pulmonary artery is relatively low. Therefore, these, this valve can open easily. Whereas for the aortic valve, beyond the aortic valve, there is aorta pressure, which is a high pressure, 125 mm of Hg. And therefore, they are moving against that high pressure. Therefore, they open little slowly, relatively slowly. So, while opening of the valves, the sequence is that the pulmonary valve opens first and aortic valve opens little later. It means right ventricular ejection starts first and left ventricular ejection starts little later. This is only technical matter. The difference is so, so, so minute that uh, practically it's not, it does not exist. But technically speaking, yes, it happens like this. Pulmonary valve opens first because it, it can open easily and aortic valve opens little later because of the high pressure beyond the aortic valve. That is the high pressure of the aorta. Now, next point is, what about the closure of the valves? When the valve closes, the valve leaflets are moving in the opposite direction. And that also is determined by the pressure beyond the valve leaflets. Now, what happens in the case of aortic valve is that because of the high pressure in the aorta, the aortic valve leaflets, now this time they are coming in the opposite direction. They can close very rapidly because of the high pressure in the aorta. Whereas the pulmonary valve opens little, uh, pulmonary valve closes, I beg your pardon, pulmonary valve closes little slowly because of the low pressure in the pulmonary artery. The valve leaflets are coming back to their position which happens slowly in the case of pulmonary valve. So remember, it's the pressure in those vessels which is determining how the valve will open rapidly or slowly and how the valve will close rapidly or slowly. I repeat once again, while opening, the pulmonary valve opens quickly, whereas aortic valve opens little slowly. That means it opens a little later and therefore right ventricular ejection will start first and then the left ventricular ejection will start. But closure of the valves, aortic valve will close first and fast. That's because of the high pressure in the aorta and then the pulmonary valve will close. So right ventricular ejection starts first, but left ventricular ejection ends first because aortic valve closes first. So left ventricular ejection will end uh, first and then the right ventricular ejection will end. So that was uh, a little conceptual understanding of the cardiac cycle events.